Hey, what's up class? I'm gonna do a little walkthrough here really quick on this thing called vertex form. So as you can see here, I'm graphing x squared plus six x plus eight, and I'm hitting a vertex of negative three, negative one. Now let me show you something kind of crazy here really quick. If I were to type x plus three squared minus one, look what happens. Whoa, it's the exact same line Okay, hitting the exact same vertex. So this right here, students, is called vertex form, okay? So the best way to type it is actually x plus, sorry, x minus h, excuse me, squared, um, and then plus k, okay? So if I were to put sliders for h and k, okay, you can basically move the vertex anywhere you want. So this will move the vertex up and down. So this right here is your y value of your vertex. Okay. Notice our y value for the vertex was negative 1, and here I have a minus 1. Okay. Now the h value and the x coordinate are actually opposite. Okay. So as you can see, as I move this, it slides it left and right. Okay. So if I wanted to have the same vertex as the red line, I need to move u to a negative 3, because it's basically opposite. A minus a negative 3 is plus 3, and then i got to slide u down to boom right there. Okay. So this is called vertex form right here. Okay, If you want to make any parabola hit any vertex you want, you type it out in vertex form and then you're good to go. Now I just didn't make this up. Okay, Where does this come from? <clears throat> if I were to solve this by completing the square, okay, this, if I were to solve this by completing the square, here's what I would do. First thing I would do is I would subtract the 8 from both sides and then I would add 9 to both sides. So what would that equation look like? Well, the equation would actually look like this. So let me write right here. It's a go y equals. Okay. So if I subtract the 8 from both sides, you would go away. Okay. And you would be minus 9. Sorry, minus 8 now. Okay. So now I'm going to complete the square by going plus 9 to this side. Negative 8 plus 9, I believe, is a plus 1. Notice the graph stays the same as I'm doing this math. Isn't that crazy? Okay. Now, if I were to complete the square, I could rewrite this as x. Oops, I want that to get deleted, excuse me. Okay, I could write that as x plus 3 uh, squared. There we go, whoops. Not what I wanted to do. Okay, we write as x plus 3 squared. And if I were to write it over, I would subtract 1 from both sides, so minus 1, minus 1. Okay, so vertex form comes from completing the square. It's almost the exact same process that we did with the uh, handwritten notes. You kind of vacate the extra numbers. So if I were to go back to the beginning, x squared plus 6x plus 8, you vacate that extra number, you complete the square, you rewrite it as a binomial, but instead of solving for 0, you actually solve for y. You get y all by itself on one side. Okay, so there's, there's vertex form. So basically, it's really easy to type out. So another example, if I wanted to hit the vertex uh, 5 and 6, okay, I wanted to hit this right here, here's all I would do. Copy and place. Excuse me. Copy and paste. Instead of saying uh, plus three, I want to hit actually a minus five. I want to go opposite. Opposite x value. If I want to hit a five, you type in a negative five. If I want to hit a positive six, I type in plus six. Boom. Okay. Bullseye it right there on the dot. Okay. Again, you pick any vertex you want, and you can nail it. Okay. Let's go negative four and seven. Okay. So I'm just going to copy and paste. Oops. Copy and paste the vertex form as you can see here. Okay. If I want to hit a negative 4, I'm actually going to go plus 4. If I want to hit a positive 7, I'm going to type in positive 7. There you go. So all my vertexes have been bullseyed. Okay? Um, if you want to get weird with it, if you want to change the shape of it, you can actually move the number out in front of the vertex. If I threw a negative, it's going to flip the red one upside down. If I throw a 2 in front of it, it's just going to change the sharpness of it. Okay, I have 2, 3. There we go. Oops. Wow. There we go. So I can change the sharpness of it, but I still hit the vertex. So I think the vertex form is pretty powerful when it comes to having like an ideal target when it comes to your vertex. Anyway, just wanted to show you vertex form. Um, so uh, that's about it. We'll see you in class. Goodbye.